Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I have a great one for you. Uh, the real global warming number exposing the climate illusion because it is an illusion. Uh, now you've heard uh, the headline that the earth has warmed by one and a half degrees since 1850. Crisis, emergency, tipping point, all for profit of course. Uh, but what if I told you the number is mostly smoke and mirrors? And I say mostly, it's pretty much all smoke and mirrors. Uh, so I'm going to break it down for you, uh, piece by piece, uh, to expose the climate scam. Uh, unless I get banned off uh, off YouTube, of course. Uh, until uh, we get to the real number, uh, the physical reality. Uh, you'll be shocked uh, where this ends up. So I'm going to just talk you through, uh, be sort of lots of numbers, etc. I'll talk you through it. So the starting point, plus one and a half degrees, you've heard, you know, the government... Uh, screaming, shouting, or the world screaming and shouting about this uh, since 1850. Remember the date, it's a key date. Uh, that's a number uh, repeated over and over by politicians, activists, and media outlets. Uh, usually because they, they're not armed with the correct information, or maybe they are and they are just trying to profiteer uh, and control. We know they love to do this kind of stuff. Uh, uh, so here's the, the first problem. The year 1850, which is a, a date... Uh, always thrown around. Uh, well, 1850, well, actually, it's not actually thrown around, it's hidden quite often. Uh, but 1850 was the end of what they called the Little Ice Age, uh, one of the coldest periods in 2,000 years. So where do you think temperatures are going to go? Well, there's only one way, up. So it's a very selective uh, date. Uh, so using that as a, as a baseline, it is like starting uh, your weight loss journey after a stomach flu. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a con, really. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, that adds 0.2 to 0.3 degrees to the headline. Uh, revised warming from uh, fairer baseline, e.g. E 1950s or medieval average, uh, is plus 1.2 to 1.3 degrees. Uh, so let's work from there. Uh, subtracting uh, natural causes, 30% uh, of the warming. Uh, Earth has never had a stable temperature. Uh, we know that, uh, hence seasons, hence you know, climate change. Climate change is real, but of course it's natural. Uh, it moves in cycles. Uh, oceans, ocean currents, uh, the, the solar pan, uh, patterns, volcanoes. Uh, these are all natural phenomena uh, that drive a large part of the observed changes. Now, this is what people don't tell you. This is what a lot of people don't know. They preach climate change is real because it's getting hotter. Well, actually, I think July 96 was hotter than what it is in July now. So, uh, is it really getting hotter? Uh, uh, so let's look at what's natural and how much it contributes. So there are two things which um, I don't believe, I've not heard anyone talk about, but it came out from my extensive research on the subject of climate change because I wanted to prove myself right or wrong and challenge my own bias. Or was it bias? I don't believe it is bias. Um, so something called uh, El Nino, uh, warming spikes. It happens. It's a natural cycle. Uh, it you know I can add plus one uh, to 0.3 uh, degrees impact in major years. So 1998, 2016, 2023 uh, basically means uh, the planet warms up because of El Nino, a warming spike. Uh, 0.1 degrees, so not one degrees. 0.1 degrees to 0.3 degrees uh, it has an impact on the global temperatures. Now, of course. It serves the purpose of the climate warriors because they uh, they can say, oh, the plant's warming up, etc., etc. But it's actually El Nino. Now, there's also La Nina, uh, which are cooling dips. These temporary offset warming, uh, warming Pacific uh, oscillation and Atlantic uh, uh, long-term natural cycles. Uh, so La Nina uh, reduces. Uh, the temperature so we, we end up getting colder and uh, that's what we're entering now so it'll be interesting to see over the next couple of years whether the climate people start screaming hey everything we're doing is cooling the planet uh, but actually it's not it's a natural cycle a uh, solar cycle small but a real influence volcanic eruptions uh, suppressed temperatures uh, short term uh, arctic feedback loops uh, partially natural uh, but they amplify regional heat uh, all these things you know uh, all in the equation uh, estimated contribution from natural uh, variability since 1950, 30% uh, of observed warming. So that takes our adjusted warming from 
uh, now from 1.2 degrees down to 0.85 degrees. So we keep subtracting. Uh, so subtracting measurement methods changes 0.3 to 0.5 degrees. Now here's where it gets a little technical and political. Since the mid-1990s, so let's call it 1995, uh, uh, the way we measure global temperature has changed. Now they don't tell you this, do they? They don't tell you the methods of measurement, but because when you have an analytical outlook on things, uh, thankfully I do, um, I start questioning, well, okay, if you're saying that global temperatures increased by one and a half degrees, let's break it down. How was it measured, especially since 1850, especially since before 1995? How was it measured pre-95 to post-95? Um, so look, the manual uh, thermometers uh, were replaced by automated digital sensors, which are called short-lived peaks never seen before. Um, so pre-1995, things were measured two, maybe three times a day, nine in the morning, three in the afternoon, maybe one in the afternoon, maybe one in the evening, who knows. Uh, but they were measured, you know, a couple of times a day. Whereas now they, make it, they can measure every single minute, and they do measure every minute. They also measure out at sea, which they never did before. So there's a lot more data now, a lot more accuracy in terms of global temperatures. Uh, that's a good thing, but it can only help us move in forward, you know, one, two, three, four, five decades, ten decades, you know, a hundred years. Uh, so they cherry pick uh, their data in order to give the message for whatever agenda and ideology they are following. Um, ocean temperatures switched from uh, ship intake water, uh, warmer, uh, to buoy sensors, cooler. Uh, but instead of lowering modern readings, uh, the past was adjusted upward. Interesting. So Arctic temperatures are now uh, infilled by computer models, not measured, uh, adding anomalies of plus 3 to plus 5 degrees. Well, that's huge. In areas with no instruments. So they're basically making it up. Um, uh, they're modeling it, having a guess, um, inflating it. And then telling everyone, oh, we're warming, you know, and putting scorching red things on weather maps and, and telling you to stay indoors when it's 18 degrees, you know. Um, so it's, a, it's just an overall con. Uh, these method changes inflate the temperatures uh, by 0.3 to 0.5 degrees. That brings our number from 0.85 down to 0.4 to 0.6 degrees. So when they say we're warming 1.5 degrees, we're actually not. We're warming 0.4 to 0.6 degrees so far. There's more. So subtracting uh, the cleaner air effect as well, another 0.3 to 0.5, net zero. Remember net zero, which is sort of tagged along with climate change and all this sort of nonsense. Um, well, net zero is about cleaner air, cleaner energy, cleaner air, and all of that stuff which I'm absolutely a firm believer in. We should have cleaner air to breathe. We shouldn't be breathing in chemicals and, I'm not gonna be starting chemtrails, but chemicals and all the like. We shouldn't be breathing in rubbish, you know? We shouldn't be breathing in the shit. Cleaner air, absolute super fan of it. I'm a health freak, super fan of it. So with the net zero and aerosols and uh, like sulfur dioxide from ships, uh, power plants, heavy industry, um, when the air is cleaner, this is what they don't tell you again, when the air is cleaner, the sun is exposed to the planet and the planet warms up. So, what you have now, El Nino, uh, you have the cooling, the heating, the oceans, you have the uh, cleaner air, all natural that warm the planet up. Not climate change, it warms the planet up. So the result, more sunlight reaches the surface, less cloud brightening, uh, ocean surfaces warm up faster, uh, and scientists now estimate uh, this cleaner air accounts for 0.3 to 0.5 uh, degrees of recent warming. Uh, we didn't create new heat, we just unmasked it, so it's always been there. Uh, that puts our real global warming after subtracting aerosol masking at just 0.1 to 0.3 degrees, not the one and a half degrees. So the real number, 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 degrees of physical warming since 1990. Let's count it down one last time. Let's start with one and a half degrees since 1850. So this is a summary for you. So 
one and a half degrees since 1850. Subtract baseline uh, trick, 0.2 degrees. Subtract natural variation, 0.3, 0.4 degrees. Subtract method inflation, 0.3, 0.5 degrees. You know the methods of how they measure, you know, the global temperature. Subtract aerosol masking, call it net zero if you want, but cleaner air, 0.3, 0.5 degrees. What's left? A real physical increase of just 0.1 to 0.3 degrees since 1990s. So, my final thought, yes, the Earth is warming, but not by one and a half degrees, not even close. It's warming by what could be seen as a rounding error. Uh, natural phenomena uh, is causing the Earth to warm, and we will be entering a cooling period also. So, it will be interesting to see what they say about that, if they acknowledge it. So, the number that's driven panic, uh, carbon taxes, uh, net zero billions of funding, uh, laws, uh, electric cars, all of this sort of stuff that is life restricting, financially restricting, movement restricting, is based on bullshit. So, it's biased baselines, inflated methods, it's ignored natural cycles, it has completely ignored that, it's not told you about natural cycles, and unintended consequences of cleaning up pollution, cleaner air, all for it. It'll warm the planet up a little bit, but all for it. Uh, the real story is nuanced, uh, data-driven, and far less dramatic than what you're being told and what you're being sold. So, if you like the video, you like the content, feel free to make notes. I don't edit my videos. They're all raw and natural. Um, I share what I become to understand. I share my knowledge and I share my know-how. It's based on experience. It's based on analysis. Um, let me know what you think. Leave some comments. And thank you for watching.